Hi everyone! One of the most popular videos on my channel is the videos about 3D cameras. There will be an epic video today. Here you will see a comparison of 9 of the most popular 3D cameras. This video is not about technical specification of these cameras. If you are interested in seeing a detailed comparison of formal characteristic of all of these cameras, I do and much more of them, I advise you to, to look at the Ivera website link in the description. In this video I will show you real images and actual problems for each of these cameras. I will compare them. It's stuff that you couldn't find in any official guide on any benchmark, you will see just the visual problems and visual explanation of all this stuff. And a big thanks to Ivera. Christian gives me a lot of cameras for comparison and setup for comparison. So, let's go! Here you can see the cameras from our test. They all look nice. And I hope you can name them all. Here you can see RealSense D455, RealSense D435, RealSense D415 and RealSense D405. Also there are two OAK D cameras, one of them is OAK D Lite and one is OAK D Pro. Also you can see Z camera and Azure Connect camera. And, of course, our special guest is located a little bit higher. It's MechMind 3D camera. Let's look at our test setup. We choose the worst objects possible. Here is all you like. Shiny metal objects, dark objects, a table with regular repeating pattern, small object, thin object, a lot of glass and the paper among all these objects look like heaven blessing, but don't forget that it has a lot of glares with direct lightning. The only problem with this setup is the closed zone. Not all cameras here are specialized for this distance. So I used the second scenes to cover this. The camera is looking directly at me and the background is beautiful. There are two different light conditions, windows and many occlusions. Let's look at how our cameras work in all these environments. We will start with the MechMind camera. It's the most accurate camera in our comparison. And it will give you a reference point. Check a few interesting moments. First, dispersion around the main plane is minimal. Also you can see the same dispersion around the wings of the plane. The paper airplane has the thickness it's in its wings. Next point. The metal surface is working and it's working pretty well. Next point. The red hot paper didn't have the surface except the top one. So it's lost almost all surfaces on its back and sides. Black surfaces are mostly not working. And it's of course depend on the amount of lightness from this camera. And the final point, surface plane is working, but more than half of the point are missed. And it's also because this surface plane is black. Let's start from D455. It's one of the best real sense. Let's look on the image. It really look nice, but as you can already see, the accuracy and the resolution is much lower than the previous camera. And you can see the main problem. 
it surfaces when the angle of these surfaces is too small with the camera. It's of course some regular black texture because some part of the texture are broken. Of course it's glasses and it's quite reasonable because the glass is usually working bad but specifically here it's not the worst possible scenario and as you can see the metal is working quite nice the hot paper is working quite nice and the plane is pretty stable of course there is some uh, fluctuation over the plane but it's pretty stable and the dispersion is pretty okay but of course like all the texture from this background plane is destroyed there are a lot of problems for the second scenes the first of course it's the windows and it's really unpredictable. Sometimes you can see something behind the window, sometimes the window is just texturized and sometimes there are a lot of, of artifacts around the window. Of course there is some problem with texturizing, just check my head and the texture around it. And if you can look on some textures, they are just floating a bit. So, the image is not very stable here. The real sense 435 is pretty similar to the previous camera, and the main difference is in the field of view. Of course, this field of view will affect your image a lot. Just check. Same setup, same camera position, but the plane is completely invisible here. Because of the angles, the, the plane of the airplane wings is invisible. And of course, there are some amount of difference on the image but in my, in my opinion they are super and significantly in comparison with real sense 455 for the second scenes as you can see the image is completely the same of course, there is some difference with field of view, but in general, same problem like on the previous camera. The next real sense is real sense D415. And in my opinion, it has a little bit better quality specific for objects on our sense, but as you can see, it completely destroy the background plane for our scene and it's like floating with a lot of different particles in there so it's a common problem for a lot of cameras but i'm a little bit confused that for all our real senses only one of them gives completely broken image for this specific part on this test Maybe it's because of rolling shutter, I don't know, but it's the only camera that has such problem. And for the second scenes I have the same impression. Probably the accuracy for some objects is a little bit better. For example, my face doesn't have a glare on it. But like the background is, in my opinion, is a little bit worse. But it may be just impression for here. Our next camera is D405. And it's completely different real sense camera. It optimized for close range and it doesn't have active lightning. So 
the results are completely different from previous cameras. As you can see, the image quality is worse. All 3D planes are unstable, there is a little jittering, and of course, with such jittering, the accuracy is much worse than any previous RealSense camera. And the image for the second scenes is also not great. But don't forget, this camera doesn't optimize for far range. It's specifically close range camera. So probably you will not see any of these problems in real applications. And pretty interesting that specifically this real sense can see through the windows sometime. Our next camera is OAK D Lite. And of course, for this camera, the main idea is to provide AI acceleration on edge. And for the stereo algorithm, they use pretty basic 3D reconstruction algorithm from OpenCV. It's possible to run different neural networks there, but I'm just using this basic application. And because of this, you can see a lot of artifacts. And probably it's a bit worse than the real sense cameras, but the error structure is a little bit different. For example, like it's much stable than real sense 405. Uh, it can see a little bit better um, metal objects. But, of course, like all white objects or all structured objects, like our background plane, they are not very stable. In my opinion, it's a good camera, but probably if you need a high accuracy 3D, you need to think about running your own neural network with it. And for our second scenes, you can see that camera couldn't resolve background plane and foreground plane. Because of different lightning condition, of course. And because of this, the foreground plane is completely destroyed. But camera can see pretty stable image behind the windows. Our next camera is Oak D Pro. It has active lightning and a better resolution comparison with our previous one. This camera also has the same problem with background plane, like RealSense 415. Maybe it's some resolution issue, maybe it's some problem with algorithm. But as you can see, it's unstable in this specific case and probably it's a little bit more unstable than the real sense camera. And for the second scenes, as you can see, it's worked better than OAK D Lite. And this is, of course, because of the active illumination. With active illumination, you can look through the dark objects much better. But for, like, far objects, it almost doesn't affect at all. Our next camera is Microsoft Azure Connect. It's pretty interesting camera. As you can see, it has much bigger lenses and it gives better quality than RealSense camera or OAKD cameras. On this image, you can even see that there is almost no holes in our background plane. There is almost all points on our airplane exist. And the image is much nice. But if you will look on some details, you can see that these details, sometimes they are flickering. 
and the image from this camera is a bit unstable. So the main problem with this Azure camera is you sometimes you can believe the answer of it, but you don't know is it like point with correct answer or with not correct answer. But anyway, for some task, this camera is great. And for some task, we preferred RealSense camera. And of course, this camera is not ideal. You can observe that there is a lot of problems with dark objects, glasses are not exist, and so on, so on. But in general, this camera is great. And for our second camera position, you can see that the accuracy is pretty nice. There is no texture on windows, but of course there is no texture behind windows, uh, but it's pretty stable. Everything you can see here is better than for real sense camera. And the only issue is there is a lot of some noises behind the windows and so on. But in my opinion, for this scenes, camera definitely better than previous small cameras. Our next camera is Z camera. It's pretty popular and pretty nice. The main difference with previous cameras is distance between lenses. Z camera has bigger distance. And this distance can affect the accuracy, especially for close zone. And because of this, maybe our first test is not very representative for specifically for this camera. But anyway, let's, te let's test this because it's work and the results are pretty nice and comparable. In comparison with previous cameras, Z camera is performing inferencing not on board, but partially on connected host machine. Because of this, it requires a bit higher grade host machine, but in some cases the accuracy may be a little bit higher than previous cameras. Z camera has two completely different regimes. One is neural, where the reconstruction performed by neural network and the second one is classic one, where the reconstruction performed by set of algorithms. Here you can see the neural regime. Everything is pretty nice, but as you can see, there is a lot of noise and fluctuations in parts that is hardly defined. The same problem we already saw for uh, some of the cameras, for example, for your Microsoft Azure camera. And this problem is pretty important uh, because you can believe all the points, but the image is pretty smooth and nice. And in situation when you need just some brief estimation of parameters in some locations where you have uncertainties, it's completely fine. And here is the second regime without neural networks. As you can see, there is more holes, but the noise fluctuation is lower. So in my opinion, it's pretty good trait. You can choose the best one for specifically your case. For the second scenes, we will start with regime without neural networks. And as you can see, the image is compatible with previous cameras, but you can admit that there is wider field of view and probably there is a bit much more noise than for some of previous cameras. So let's switch to the second regime. As you can see, there is a lot of noise and especially a lot of noise behind windows or in some field where there is small amount of information. But anyway, on the first glance, the image looks pretty nice. So let's wrap it up. All nine cameras from this video are good, but all of them 
are for different occasions. To choose the camera you need to choose the physics behind the camera, will it be stereo, should it have active illumination. Read my article to find out this part, the link will be in the description. Also you need to understand what host device you will use. Also you need to decide the characteristic of camera. Field of view, accuracy, frame rate, camera size, etc. etc. I will leave a link to the Ivera article in the description. And a few words about my experience with different cameras. Real sense cameras are the most popular for setup where accuracy is not critical but additional information is needed. Usually it's robotics and indoor activities. Big cameras like MechMind are super popular for conveyor belt and other tasks in production facilities. Sometimes robotics as well. OAC cameras are super popular for prototyping and hobby project. However, I saw them a few times for project with limited computational power. Z is super popular for outdoor navigation and activities. And I don't know why, but Azure Connect is the most popular place, universities and research projects. So that's all. A few useful links are in the comment. Thank you for watching, subscribe and goodbye.